Hello, hello there. It's Connell Finlay here, the owner and director of The Seller Store here in New Zealand. And welcome to today's episode of The Seller TV. So today we're going to have another little video tasting note. And what we're going to be trying today is a really quite special wine. Uh, one of the sort of the standout wineries in, in, in all respects uh, of California. And that particular winery is Stag's Leap Wine Cellars. And the wine that we're going to be trying today from them is actually their Chardonnay. Their, uh, pull that up there, a little close up there for you. And that is the Caria Chardonnay. That's the 2013 uh, Caria Chardonnay. So this is their top Chardonnay. Uh, they did used to have their uh, straight Chardonnay and also an Arcadia uh, Chardonnay as well. But this, their Caria Chardonnay is without a doubt their, uh, their top one and the best one that they've ever produced, in my opinion. And so this is the 2013 all-source, 100% Napa Valley fruit. And so Stag's Leap Wine Cellars, for those that aren't really uh, familiar with them, we haven't done any videos yet of their uh, Cabernets, uh, but we will, we, we're getting around to that, we're going to be doing that quite uh, quite soon. Uh, and so their Cabernets, they're the ones that actually won their um, Stag's Leap SLV vineyard, uh, that is the one that won the Paris uh, Judgment of Paris Tasting in 1976. And I don't know if you could see there, but on the label there, we'll have a little close-up for you. Um, it says, a state winner, uh, Paris Judgment of Paris Tasting 1976. And that's the one uh, that sort of bombarded California onto the um, international wine trade uh, scene, if you will. Because there was a whole bunch of Californian Chardonnays and a bunch of Californian uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, or at least Cabernet Sauvignon based blends, and they were pitted up against some of the absolute best uh, French Cabernet Sauvignons or Bordeaux blends uh, and some of the best uh, white Burgundies or Chardonnays. All completely French wine tasters, and these guys, uh, not for their Chardonnay, that was uh, Chateau Montalena, but their Cabernet Sauvignon, their, as I said, their SLV uh, vineyard. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, that is the one that won. Uh, all the French judges uh, rated that one uh, ever so slightly higher than things like Mouton uh, Rothschild and um, Mouton Rothschild and a few of the other first growths. So they're actually ones that are now thousands of dollars a bottle. Uh, yet the SLV, yes, it is expensive, but it is a very good wine. Um, and it's around, uh, well, a couple of hundred dollars now. So I think it's about 250 uh, or getting up to about 300 soon, perhaps. Um, but still, I mean, relatively speaking, uh, they are still holding up very, very, very well compared to a lot of uh, first growth Bordeaux and, uh, as you can see, a mere fraction of the price. Anyway, as I said, so this is their Cario Chardonnay. So let's give it a, a little sniff, shall we? Mmm. So what I've always really, really enjoyed about the Cario Chardonnay um, is the fact that it's not necessarily your typical uh, Californian Chardonnay. It's, it is quite sort of, it's a blend between sort of New World Chardonnay, things that you might uh, get from sort of Marlborough or Margaret River in Australia, uh, and blending that in with sort of Burgundian tactics. But there's also that quite warmth that you would get from California. So it is sort of a, a mish, uh, mishmosh mash um, of... Um, of Chardonnay sort of styles, there is that definite, as I say, that warmth, that ripeness there with some sort of tropical fruit flavours. There's a little bit of guava here, a little bit of sort of pineapple rind and, and things like that in here as well. But there's also that sort of um, creamy richness, which is often quite a, a standing uh, or standout characteristic of, of many a Burgundy Chardonnay as well. So you're getting that sort of that lovely sort of creaminess. Um, a sort of vanilla, vanilla cream, vanilla butter sort of flavors and those sort of subtle oak uh, characteristics. So in that way alone, it's not necessarily your classic Californian Chardonnay because it's not all about oak, 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 oak. It's definitely present, yes, but the, uh, the fruit stands out. And actually one of the reasons I really like the Cario Chardonnay and have always liked the Cario Chardonnay is that it's actually quite um, floral. Uh, quite floral in its aromatics. So I mean here already you can start to see these lovely sort of white lavender, uh, honeysuckle sort of flavours coming through or aromatics coming through. So it's this really lovely fruity sort of wine and there's also a lot of sort of white peach. That's you know, well, white peach, white nectarine, and those sort of flavours there, that's really the core of this wine. It's lovely sort of white, uh, white fruit flavours uh, with just touches of sort of citrus, a little bit of lemon juice and, and then as I say those sort of creamy notes and those floral notes as well. So it's really, it's a beautiful, beautiful Chardonnay. So let's give it a little taste, shall we? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 
Mm. So most Chardonnays that you're going to get from California or anywhere in the world really that is nice warm sort of region, and they are always going to have that real presence in the mouth, a, l a real, real textural mouthfeel here. So again, those sort of creamy um, flavors and all the rest are coming through, but also that really creamy and delicate and rich mouthfeel that you're going to get on the palate there. It's just lovely and textural. And then all the other sort of flavors, they sort of gravitate. Um, instead of sort of being spread out on your palate there, uh, if you will, they all sort of gravitate around and sort of just jump around and bounce around and have their own little time in the spotlight here on your palate. So you automatically, um, straight off the bat, you sort of get hit by some citrus, sort of yellow citrus, uh, sort of lemon rind and things like this. And then sort of as it warms up or sort of mixes around your palate, then those floral notes comes in, especially that sort of honeysuckle flavor and a touch of sort of clover honey or that sort of uh, white creamed honey. The subtle honey flavors, not necessarily like your big um, smoked or dark honey. Um, and then it sort of really starts into this, uh, the stone fruit and those tropical flavors come through. So you're hit with white peach and white nectarine and there's a touch of sort of beeswax flavor in there as well. And sort of a lot, a lot of that sort of uh, guava and, um, well not too much guava, but just a touch. And a little bit of those sort of mango characteristics as well. It's just lovely. It's a really, really complex and interesting Chardonnay. And I wouldn't expect anything else, honestly, from uh, Stag's Leap Wine Cellars. And the good thing is about this Chardonnay uh, is that it is sort of built to age uh, in many, many respects. Obviously, it's doing really, really well now. This is the 2013. We're about to get the 2014 vintage uh, uh, online, I th I'm pretty sure. Um, and that's going to be coming up soon. But as you can see, I mean, this is 2017 when we're trying it. So it's already a couple of years old in, in the bottle. And it's drinking perfectly now in its youth. Uh, but I can see this going on for at least another sort of five, six years uh, at least. Uh, in your cellar and it's just going to develop and become more interesting with age. Um, yes, so you know the drill. Like, comment away, tell us if you've tried this wine, if you've tried any of the other wines, if you like Stag's Leap uh, wine cellars or Napa Valley or California uh, wine and Chardonnay. Um, let us know. Comment below, check out the URL as well. Uh, if you wanted to buy one of these bottles of wine, beautiful bottles of wine, and I recommend you getting two, one to drink now and sort of one to try again in another few years in your cellar. Absolutely recommend doing that. Um, but yeah, link, um, subscribe away, and, and like and comment and share with all your other wine uh, loving friends and family. That's much appreciated uh, from us, us here at the cellar. And of course, first and foremost, enjoy.